Twitter is now asking for some fired workers to come back. Some were laid off by a mistake. Some were let go before management realized their experience is needed to build new features. Elon Musk is planning. And uh, that is a hilarious mistake in a, a sea of mistakes that uh, the, the worst person on the planet has committed over the course of these past couple weeks. All in front of every single person. I love this. I, Elon Musk and his purchasing of Twitter was a gift to me, okay? On the one hand, it fucks up a platform that I use. I'm a power user of. But on the other hand, it is like basically reinforcing all of the agitated propaganda that I've been doing about how fucking meritocracy is a lie and about how these billionaires are not working smarter or harder than you. They're just lucky. A lot, luck plays a major, major role in this, okay? It's also showing the value of the worker versus the, the CEO or the board level executives, the corporate board executives, okay, which provide nothing, but the workers, on the other hand, provide everything. I just can't. I, I'm, I'm telling you, dude. Like, it, Elon Musk is quite literally proving everything I say all the time. Twitter is now delaying the rollback of the verification check mark until after, by the way, after the midterm elections. Uh, so that was an interesting uh, choice that they made. And it's now reaching out to dozens of employees who lost their jobs and asking them to return with some being let go before management realized that their work and experience may be necessary to build the new features Elon Musk envisions per Bloomberg. Okay. So this is from Twitter Slack. Sorry to add everybody on the weekend, but I wanted to pass along that we have the opportunity to ask folks that were left off if they will come back. I need to put together names and rationales by 4 p.m. PSD Sunday. That is awesome too. What is this? We got to be the most taxed people in the world. What do we got there? Really? 8% is the average tax person? This is not a... You cannot be sending me a fucking TikTok that was filmed of a TV that is five minutes long. That is literally just the worst way to watch something. I'm sorry. That is insanity. Like you really thought I was going to watch that, which is crazy to me that, that you thought that I was going to watch that. God damn it, CNN's still on a fucking commercial break. Holy shit, they run so many fucking commercials on TV. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, there's some pretty substantial context about Twitter's 2023 revenue and advertising that I think partly explains uh, why Musk is really losing it, and it involves upfront ad sales. Upfronts, which I've been a part of, by the way, and new fronts, which I've been a part of, uh, are when you do a... Um, when you uh, basically... Americans can't make a put block. your platform in front of every advertiser once or twice a year. Okay. All these platforms operate off of ad revenue. Okay. Uh, people want to sell their product in front of a large audience and uh, you know, they want it to be personalized as well. If you like eating lollipops, lollipop creators want to fucking serve you ads. Twitter is basically doing it just like everybody else. Um, the same exact thing that everyone does, where it's like, look at all of our lollipop users. Uh, these guys are real suckers. You want to sell them? You know, please give us your revenue. This is where a lot of people decide. What? Twitter's long. This is where a lot of people decide uh, how much money they're going to be spending on whichever platform and all this other shit, right? It's a pretty significant. Uh, is a pretty significant situation. Also, there's a Biden and hump, uh, hump, Biden and Trump holding dueling rallies in New York and Florida. Uh, which, uh, you know, I, I kind of want to tune into in a little bit as well. That's why I said like Sunday, there's going to be some news. Anyway, typically Twitter sells like 600 to 900 million in ads at new fronts. That's guaranteed revenue for the following year. This year, they didn't sell much of anything. A coalition called stop the deal. Spend time educating and using media buyers and big advertisers at the event to ask Twitter some basic questions about potential must take over before giving him a guaranteed income for 2023. Media buyers did ask those questions. Twitter had zero answers or assurances. The presentation imploded and ended shockingly early. Twitter, from what I understand, basically sold almost nothing and locked in extremely little for 2023 revenue. That means instead of heading into 2023 with 15 to 20% of 2023's uh, already secured as they typically would have, 
Twitter heads uh, into the next year with almost none of that. All because of Musk's red-pilled edgelord approach. Elon Musk has had months to address these concerns or even learn about them, but instead he's insisted on antagonizing the very business and people that sustain Twitter. Back in May, the groups and com companies weren't calling for a boycott. They were asking basic questions. My point here is it's actually worse than that, uh, than that, and I think a lot of people even appreciate all People even appreciate all because Musk's conduct and commitments to roll back brand safety and community safeguards essentially obliterated Twitter's new front sales that would have secured 2023 revenue. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, it, it's quite literally go anti-woke and go broke. I love that, dude. Uh, it's great. It's showcasing that meritocracy is a lie. It's showcasing that Elon Musk is not the fucking, uh, you know, big smarty pants that everybody... What? What is this? You have nearly 114 million Twitter followers. Name and shame the advertisers who are succumbing to the advertiser boycott so we can counter boycott them. And get your $8 monthly subscription going ASAP so we can start make up for that lost revenue now. What is this? Bro. Capitalism cannot create a system where like your most insane meat riders okay will will keep your platform afloat this is psychotic it's called national it's called the national dick riding contest like what is this guy doing this guy's a law clerk for justice gorsuch dude like, please, we need to fund you right now. Motherfucker said, please, we need to help you sustain this platform. He's literally saying like, please, sir, I know your highness, you deserve to be the king. I will toil the land extra hard. Demand more wheat from us, lowly peasants, sir. I will do it for you. Name and shame those who dare defy the monarchy, sir. I am a peasant and I know my place, sir. Please. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. The meat writing went medieval up in here, okay? That's crazy. My lord. Make us pay $8. Now I will grovel for you. My lordship, your highness, you deserve it. God made it so. Anyway, Twitter Inc. after laying off roughly half the company on Friday following Elon Musk's acquisition is asking for people to come back, which is fun and funny. Let's see how that works out for them. Uh, Jack also apologized for all the people that got fired. Uh, who gives a shit? Fuck you, Jack. Uh, you're... Uh, bullshit. 